morning, everybody. This is episode six of the gasbike.net build. Um, I f there, there was that time there where I, I didn't post anything, but that's because I was searching for that other bike that I was telling you guys about. Well, that search is over. Um, picked up a bike from a guy. Um, hate if you want. I think it's actually a women's bike, but it's it's got a little purple on the front. M my wife loves it because, well, she likes purple. So um, we're all good there. But I've installed the engine. So let me show you what we where we are at so far with the bike. So here we are. This is a, I think it's a, it's a Trek multi-track. I think it's a 27 inch bike. It's a pretty, it's got good bones. It's in good shape. It's got moderately good tread to it. I mean, I'll probably want to change it, change the tires here after the first maybe 20 hours of run time on the engine though. But, uh, let me show what you, show you guys what we got. Um, so the bracket was a bit of a pain to install. Um, but it's, it should hold just fine. Um, I was only able to get a couple of the bolts in that mount the plate to the anchors here, but it's holding, it's really sturdy. I mean, this engine's going nowhere. Um, in order for the, in, or for me to maneuver the engine in, I had to kind of snip off the little grip point on the spark plug cap. But that, that's okay, because I, I should be able to muscle that thing off with just a good grip. Um, I took the air filter off so I could m work it on there a little easier. I probably should have also just taken the muffler off temporarily. But, so, let me show you the other side. So, oh, there we go. So you can actually see something. Here's what you'd be looking down at from the seat. A torque converter just looks really pretty cool. Um, a little bit of a gap between the ank between bleh, between the anchor and the the po seat post there, but it holds it's holding it really well. Um, and some of you are like, wait, what's that thing right under the seat there? Well, actually, let me show tell you what that is. This is something I learned about from Redbeard's Garage, um, and it's called an oil catch can, and he goes into great depth as to why you want to install one of these in one of his more recent videos. Link below in the description. Um, go ahead and head over and watch watch that video if you want to know why that that uh, that you'll need one of these. But pretty much what it is, it's just a little itty bitty can, maybe four inches long, inch and a half wide. Holds probably maybe half a cup. But uh, yeah, once the engine is, when you're really running a small engine hard like this, it's actually going to spit up a little bit of oil into the, the valve cover here. And it comes out of this hose, right, focus, there. I don't know if it's, ah, yeah, there it is. It's right there. Um, and then, so I rigged it so that the hose would come out, around, and right underneath the back fork there. Sorry about the sorry about the dim lighting. I, I really need to work on I really need to replace some of the fixtures in my garage. But uh, it, it doesn't do it justice. I got plenty of light in here to work. So so yeah the oil catch can does just what it says. Any oil that comes out of the valve cover here goes into the can and actually can be reclaimed. So you can you can actually uh, drain it out of this uh, what's called the drain cock right here joke if you want but that's what it's called and then I could put it I could put it into like an old measuring cup or something and come up front unscrew the oil cap and pour it right back in um, it'd be a great it's a great way to save some oil um, the way the way it works on the factory air boxes is that let me show you what the old one is that there's these this little barb or this little hose fitting right here it literally sucks it into the engine and burns up the oil it actually can cause some nasty backfires and can uh, actually reduce the life of your engine so I'm half tempted with any of the other small engines that I buy be that a lawnmower or a small engine like this Predator or a Honda, another Honda 
this is a Honda clone, but um, I'm more than tempted to actually get one of these Go Power Sports uh, air kits, catch can, and the fac the factory muffler would be fine, but you'd probably get yourself a quite a bit more power out of it. Um, Redbeard's Garage, they, they go into a lot of detail as to how much more power you can get out of it. Uh, out of an engine with the with that cold air kit. So this is the latest on the bike and haven't gotten the sprocket on yet, but that will be next on my to-do list and getting the chain on there too. And of course the uh, idler pulley which is sitting over by my engine oil there. Focus. Okay, fine, it won't focus. But anywho, that's the status update. Thanks for watching. We will catch you in episode seven. Hopefully we'll have have a few more things added to the added to the bike, like a gas tank and other fun. Catch you later guys. Bye bye.